All right, so I'm just gonna do a real quick rundown on how to do a calibration cube. It's a 20 by millimeter by 12 mil 20 millimeter. So the, cap the formula we need to use is a 20 millimeter, because obviously it's a 20 millimeter calibration cube, divided by whatever the value is printed at. So when we have the calibration cube, we're gonna measure what the value is, um, and then times that by current value. So real quick, so write this out. So you have X, Y, Z, you have 20 divided by and then we're going to figure out, once you're done printing, what the value is. Um, so we'll measure that out, and then we're going to times that by what the current value is. So I'll show you how to check your current value real quick. Give me a second. So at the printer, we're going to go hit the button. We're going to go to control, motion, steps per millimeter. So this is what you need to write down. And we can include the e-steps. So write down all these values on your piece of paper. So X step, Y step, Z step, E step. For your printer, not mine. So going back to our paper, I did add E on here for extruder. So we're gonna do 100 millimeters of filament later on, so I'll show you how to do that. And then we'll divide that by what the value is actually printed at, and the same thing, what the current value is. So what we're gonna do now, once you have your calibration cube printed, let me show you my my calibration cube. This is an old one, so this isn't going to apply to this at all. Um, my printer is currently calibrated, so we'll just figure it out based off of the old values. So just follow along. All right, so I just did a basic TiVo Tornado calibration cube on this guy. This is like the second cube that I printed originally. Um, we're going to take your caliper, just make sure they're zeroed. Cool. Go, let's do your Z. So obviously, this is from the bottom to the top, because this is not the way it should be. But we are at 19.98, so write that as your Z. So whatever you have on yours. And then we're going to move to the x-axis, which for this one was printed just like this. So this is, well, this is my y-axis, so we'll go to x. Okay. x-axis. I am running, well that's pretty dang close, so this is my second one that I already did, so we're at 19.99, so this was one before I did my calibration, or after my calibration, so now we'll check your x-axis, which is 20, uh, it's pretty much sped on too, so just write down the values for what you have for each of those, so I'm just going to say that when it was 20.2. So, you're going to need all those values written down. Alright, so, going based off of what we have and what we learned already, so we're taking, for X value, so we're taking 20, because that's the size of the print we're trying, we, we just made, but we're actually getting out of that one was 20.02, and we're timesing that by what the current value was in our settings, which I already showed you how to look that up. So you're going to take that value, so 20 divided by that, enter, so you want to hit the complete so it doesn't try to add that separately. So take that value, times that by your current value, and you'll get a new x value. Same thing with y, so take 20 divided by what you actually printed, and then times that by whatever the current value was in your printer, and then z, the same thing, so that'll give you a new value, just enter them down here. Now what we're going to do is go over to your printer, you're going to go into your settings, Go to control, go to motion, go to steps per millimeter, and you're literally just going to go in and input all those values one at a time. So your x steps, you'll change it to what that value is, your y steps, change it to that value, and then your z steps will change it to that value. Make sense? And then as soon as you're done, you need to make sure you save it. So the way you save it is while you're here, so go back into it again, go to control, and hit store settings. Hit the button, and that'll save all your settings of what you just wrote in, and then I'll make another video of how to do your extruder calibrations.